Hello everyone, we're back. I'm Daniela Napardika. And I'm Nicoleta Velescu. And we are going to study English together. Are you ready? Let's start. Today we're going to talk about food and cooking. Food and cooking. So it's a vocabulary lesson. Let's begin. When we talk about food, we talk about different food groups. And we have fruit, vegetables, dairy products, meat and seafood, bread and cereal, fats and sweets. We should eat less fats and sweets, but well, sweets are so delicious, so probably it's kind of difficult to stop eating them. Let's start with fruit. I hope you know most of them. You may pause the video and repeat and then start again. Apple, lemon, banana, cherry, grapes, kiwi, blueberries, watermelon, melon, strawberry, pineapple, tangerine, avocado, raspberry, apricot, coconut, fig, pear, pomegranate, peach, plum. Here, a uh, tangerine, if you do not know it, so it's in Romanian it's mandarina. You sh we should always have in mind some other fruits like, I don't know, orange, clementine, or maybe blackberry, it's in the berry family, mure, blackberries. Let's see, vegetables. Potatoes, carrot, tomatoes, cauliflower, courgette, or maybe you know it as zucchini, eggplant, peas, pumpkin, mushrooms, which are not really vegetables, they are fungi, but uh, I've put them here, it's easier to understand them this way. Parsley, green beans, celery, radishes, cabbage, onion, garlic, cucumber, pepper, hot pepper, lettuce and broccoli. Pay attention to lettuce. Lettuce is the vegetable and we make salad from tomatoes, onion and cucumber. We can also add lettuce to salads. Salads are cooked and the let lettuce is the vegetable. Let's continue with meat. We have a cow, but the meat from the cow is called beef. From a sheep we get lamb. From the pig we get pork. And then if uh, we have some fat there, uh, that piece of meat is called bacon. Then we have ham chicken meat, turkey meat, and we can have beef sausages, lamb sausages, pork sausages, it depends on the type of meat you uh, we use to make them, salami and meatballs. Never order a sheep or a pig in a restaurant. So, you buy a cow at the farm, but in a restaurant you buy beef. You see the sheep, but you eat lamb. It's the same with pig, you eat pork, deer, venison. Remember, red meat is the one we get from the cow, the sheep, the pig. So we have red meat, lamb, pork and beef. And we also have white meat, the one from uh, birds, poultry, carne de passere, like chicken, turkey, duck, goose, and so on. And if we go hunting, we have wild meat. If we hunt a rabbit, a hare, which is a wild rabbit, deer or partridge, poternike. Seafood, fish, crab, lobster, shrimp, 
octopus, salmon, sardines, tuna, oysters. Legumes. Pay attention here. So, legumes are translated into Romanian like leguminoase. And the most famous legume is the beans. We have white beans, red beans. Then, lentils. Do you recognize them? Linte. Then, chickpeas. In, it's translated in Romanian nevut. Then we have flour, which can be made of wheat and corn. And from the flour you make bread. And uh, one more uh, here is rice. Quite famous. Dairy products. Of course, they are the, uh, the products that are made of milk, that contain milk. So, you have here milk, cheese, and there are different types of cheese, yogurt, whipped cream, butter. There you have margarine, which they say it's not so healthy. Sour cream, sour cream, cottage cheese, and to make it traditional, polenta. Other important ingredients in the kitchen. Vinegar, oil, oil that can be sunflower, um, sunflower oil, uh, olive oil, and so on. Mustard, ketchup, salt, pepper, sugar, honey, mayonnaise. In Asian cuisine, you use soy sauce, like for, uh, let's say, can you think of uh, an Asian type of food? Sushi? So, we dip uh, sushi in soy sauce. Then we have jam, jelly, um, and of course, egg. Let's see. Now, let's talk about the meals of the day. In the morning, you, uh, you have breakfast, which is the first meal of the day, usually around 6 to 9 a.m. But if you wake up later than uh, this time, you can have a meal in between that's called brunch, breakfast and lunch together, eaten in the late morning. Then uh, there follows the traditional lunch, which means a meal in the middle of the day, usually around noon or 1 p.m. Then there's dinner, which is uh, probably seven, from 7 to 9 p.m. Between lunch or dinner, we can have supper, which is a light or informal evening meal. I don't know, you may have some fruit, something light. Also, during the day, you can eat snacks. Which, which are quick and easy meals. A snack can be of a fruit or maybe some crisps, biscuits, whatever you like. Stick to healthy uh, snacks like apples and so on. Uh, there are some different types of dishes you can have. For example, when we're talking about lunch, which is uh, the biggest meal of the day, we can have starters or appetizers, the first thing you eat. And this, uh, the Romanian form would be felul întâi, where we eat uh, soup. Then we have the main course, often meat, fish, or a vegetarian dish, uh, felul doi, or felul principal, then we have the dessert, sweet course at the end of the meal. You can have anything for dessert. Look here, breakfast. What do we eat for breakfast? Look at the pictures and spot bacon and eggs. Can you see it? Yep, it's there. What about ham and cheese sandwich? It's mm. up in the corner. That's number two. Number three, bread, butter and jam. Next to the sandwich, of course. Number four, an omelette. It's yep. under the sandwich. Good. Milk and cereals. Yep, it's there. Yogurt and fruit muesli. Toast. And cornflakes. You're right. Let's see. What do you usually eat for breakfast? One of these. I, for example, prefer omelette. What about you? 
for lunch and dinner. We e usually eat soup. If it has meat in it, we call it meat soup. If it only has vegetables, we call it vegetable soup. If it has noodles, teitze, we call it noodle soup. Or we can talk, we can eat also veg uh, vegetable salad, but there are different types of salads. Fish and chips, uh, chicken and rice, cream cheese and polenta, which is one of my favorite, I don't know about you. Beans and sausages, very British-like. What do you usually eat for lunch? Okay, it would be healthier to eat soup, any type of uh, soup. And what do you usually eat for dinner? Hmm, maybe you can choose something from here? So, junk food, fast food. I'm sure you recognize all of them. So, you have hot dog, shawarma, pizza, hamburger, fries or french fries or chips and the famous sandwich. What's your favorite food? One of the, is it one of these? I would bet it's pizza. Now, let's see here, something sweet. To end a happy meal, we have chocolate cake or fruit cake, fruit salad, waffles, waffles, tart, pancakes, pie. If it's with apples, we can say it's apple pie, pumpkin pie, um, or cheese pie, muffins, cheesecake, cookies, biscuits, ice cream, donuts, pudding, brownies, and croissant. We also have to drink something. Water. Look here. So, if it's got bubbles in it, it's sparkling water. If it doesn't, it's still mineral water. Then, of course, you know coffee, cappuccino, hot chocolate, tea, different flavors, of course, fruit juice, lemonade, soda, cocktail, champagne, milkshake, and for adults, beer, wine, and other alcoholic drinks like brandy, cognac, rum, vodka, tequila, whiskey, and so on. But you're not 18, so until here. Let's continue. Taste. Taste. If the food is delicious, we say it's tasty. And if it hasn't got any taste, we don't really like it, we say it's tasteless. When we talk about food, we have these words in mind. And sour, spicy, salty, sweet, bitter. Think about the food we've studied so far. Think of a sour one, a spicy one, a salty one, sweet and bitter. Let's see. What fruit do you like best? Uh, well, I like a lot of fruit, but I think my favorites are uh, strawberries and bananas. Yes, I like them best. What about you? Do you have any favorite fruit? Well, I don't have a favorite fruit, but I have favorite vegetables. I like carrots, I like uh, cabbage, and I also love tomatoes and cucumbers. What's your favorite food? Well, that's From a difficult question, yeah. Um, I love all kinds of soup because I know they're healthy and we should eat them. Then, um, I don't know, something with vegetables in it for the main course. Yeah, we teachers, that's it. Uh, what, does, what does lemon taste like? It's... It's sour. Mm, yeah. What about pancakes? Mm. What does a pancake taste like? It's... Yes, it's sweet, delicious. Chocolate, jam, honey maybe. Okay, let's continue. Are you ready for some riddles? 
We will read the clues and you will have to guess the food. Let's begin. It usually has dark green stripes. It is red on the inside. It consists mostly of water. Mm. What is it? It's a fruit. Yeah. It's yes. watermelon. You're right. Now, eaten plain, it is usually white. You can eat it with fruit, cereals, and other things. And it's usually made from cow milk. You have it for breakfast most of the time. Yeah, it's yogurt. Mm-hmm, okay. It comes in many shapes and sizes. It can be eaten at any meal of the day and it's made of flour. We You're eat it right. with everything. It's bread. bread. It can be hard or soft. You can add it to your sandwich. Sometimes it has holes in it. And uh, I think mice love it. Actually, yes. Mm -hmm. So, cheese. Right. It is sold fresh or frozen. It is usually round and flat. It was invented in Italy and probably it's one of your favorite type of food. So it's the, pizza. the famous pizza. Yes. It is usually eaten peeled. It can be boiled, fried, roasted. You need it to make french fries. The potatoes. It is usually sweet and brown. It melts in your fingers. It's made from cocoa beans and it's delicious. Yes, it is. Chocolate. It can be served warm, hot or cold. It's made from meat, fish or vegetables and you need a spoon to eat it. And I'll give you another clue. You put it in a bowl. Mm-hmm. It must be the soup. Right. Yes. Now, it can be eaten cooked or raw. It has a bright orange color. Rabbits seem to love it. Me too. It's the carrot. It's a tropical fruit. It has a rough orange and brown skin. It has pointed lips on top. Mm -hmm. And it's... It's the pineapple, is it? Exactly. Yes, pineapple. It is a low-fat meat, poultry, but not chicken meat. It has a country's name. Country? Mm -hmm. It's turkey. Yes. You can drink it. It's not sweet and you need it to survive. It's the water. Water. It's neither meat nor vegetable. It has protein. It can be toxic. It's a fungus usually with a round top. And you can see it in the forest. Exactly. So the mushroom. It is often eaten in thin slices. It's very thin slices. I underline it. It's usually dried, salted and smoked. It's meat from the back side of the pig. So it's pork, which means it's, it's bacon. Bacon. It's not always white, but it's always sweet. You can add it to coffee or tea. Sugar. It is a big green vegetable. It has large green leaves and it's eaten uncooked in salads. We've talked about it. Yes, yes, it's the lettuce. Now it's time to talk about cooking, how we prepare food. Here are some verbs. Slice, to cut into long thin pieces and in order to cut uh, uh, slices you need a knife. Chop. It's another way of cutting, but this time in very small pieces. Take a look at the GIF. And you also use the knife. P. 
peel. To peel is to take out the outer covering of a food, such as an apple, but in this case you have the potato. A peeler is a kitchen tool used for this job. You can also use a knife, of course. Boil. It's to heat a liquid, usually water, of course, until many bubbles appear on the surface. They, the water has to reach high temperatures. And we usually boil things in pots. Fry. To fry means to cook in a pan or a pot over direct heat, usually in fat, like butter or oil like a frying pan and a pot if you need a lot of oil to cook uh, the, the food. To bake. You bake in the oven. It means to cook by dry heat without direct expo exposure to a flame in the oven. Bake. To whisk. It means to beat ingredients with a kitchen tool called a whisk, you can see it here, in order to make sure the food is well mixed. Well, to spread. To spread means to cover a surface, of course. Here you have a, a slice of bread with a substance uh, in an even layer, like uh, you spread Nutella, you can spread butter, jam, marmalade, and you can use a knife, maybe a spoon. To blend. To blend means to combine two or more ingredients by hand or with it using a blender or an elect uh, electric mixer. And of course, you need a blender. Pour. To cause to flow from a container to a steady stream. Let's see, from um, a can you pour into a glass. When we cook we need a measuring cup because sometimes it's really important uh, to have a successful a recipe. Add. To add ingredients in a recipe, take a look uh, at the video. Okay, he adds some soy sauce by hand with a spoon, of course, and we mix, we stir, we mix the ingredients in the recipe using a spoon, a wooden spoon, or just uh, using the hand. Knead. To press something, especially a mixture for making bread or sponge cake, in Romania it's quite famous, quite firmly and repeatedly using our hands and fingers to then with a dot we roll, uh, we roll the dot out and we sometimes use a dot roller, that device there, to make it flat. To mesh means first to reduce a pulpy mass and then, like potatoes, we mash them using a potato masher. Of course, there, you can do the same with other vegetables or even fruit. Then, roast and grill. I'm sure you are already hungry, aren't you? I am, definitely. Okay, so to roast means to cook in oil in the oven. And grill means to cook, cook something on a grill or on a ridged pan. There are also pans for that. Or outside when you have a barbecue. Okay, let's see some exercises. Match the two columns. You chop up the... Vegetables. Vegetables. Chop up the veggies. You whisk... The, the eggs. eggs, yes. You pour some liquid, the vinegar. Yep. You peel the potatoes. You roast the chicken. The chicken and you slice the tomato. The tomato. 
Mm -hmm. Choose the right verb to fill in the gaps. And you have the verbs are to wash, fry, mix, cook, bake, boil, and serve. Okay. In order to make pasta, you should boil it in salted water for 10 minutes. Pay attention to the second one, the vegetables before cooking them. It's really important with all those viruses, you to have wash to wash them. the vegetables. Let's see, mashed potatoes goes well with meat, which means they can be served together. Serve the meat with some mashed potatoes. Number four, the eggs, the sugar and the flour together. So you mix them. Mm -hmm. When you make a cake in order for it to be ready, you have to put it in the oven to bake it. So bake it in the oven. Where did you learn to, you're right, cook, cook Chinese food and the chopped onion in some oil until it is light brown. Okay, if it's oil, you need to fry it. It's time for some conversation. So, can you cook? What can you cook? Can you cook um, an omelette? Can you fry an egg? Yeah, probably they can. Why do people cook food? Because we need to We need eat. to eat. Of course, we are hungry all the time. Who cooks better in your family? I do too. <laughs> okay, what in about my you? family? What about probably you? your mom's. Who probably, knows? Probably, but your dad's might be really good they too. They could be very good. Who knows, maybe one day you'll, you'll become chefs. Mm -hmm. Is cooking easy? Why? Why not? What do you think? Is it easy to cook? Mm, not really. It depends. it depends. If you like it, nothing is difficult. What do you like about cooking? I for sure don't like chopping the onion. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> what do you like? I think I like baking, baking cakes or uh, frying eggs maybe. Mm, I like trying new recipes and seeing what comes well after I finish cooking. Can you explain how to cook fries for example? Well, first, as we said before, you have to wash the potato peel the potato mm -hmm. and then you slice it and cut it into smaller pieces, the long ones, and then you fry them in oil and you serve with whatever you like, with yeah. cheese or with some chicken. Have I told you I'm hungry? Oh yes, you I think I'm sure I have. they are hungry too. Oh my god. Okay, that's all for today. So, take care. See you next time. Thank you for being here with us. And we also thank those who helped us. That's all for today. Goodbye. Goodbye and see you next time.